Hey Android fans, this is Eric from HollywoodFrodo.com with another Android app review. So you're getting ready to move and uh, you got to get those big fat markers so that you can write all over the outside of the boxes what's in the box because the hardest part is when you get where you're going figuring out what goes where, right? Not anymore. With the app I'm going to be talking about today, those days are over. But before I get to that, just a reminder that this review is being sponsored by AndyTags.com, which is a really great place to get really cool Android uh, themed NFC stickers and tags and also Android keychains. So uh, after the review, head on over to AndyTags.com and check them out. Anyway, today I'm going to be talking to you about the app Pack It Up, which is a great app that along with NFC technology and some cool NFC tags, eliminates the need for those markers anymore. Because all you got to do is put a tag on your box and you can program all the information you need, very detailed information about what's in that box. How in the world is that gonna happen, you ask? Well, of course, I'm gonna show you. So let's hop on my phone, and I'm gonna show you exactly how this app works and uh, why it's so cool. So uh, here I am inside one of my folders where I have most of my NFC apps, and you see the app pack it up. Um, on either side here, I've got some uh, Andy tags, NFC tags. So we're gonna open pack it up, and here you have the home screen, pack it up. Your options are boxes, items, locations, and then about. Uh, if you hit boxes, then you'll see boxes that you've set up already and entered items for. This is one that I set up that has kitchen stuff. Um, if you want to do a new one, you just hit new. And then uh, you see tap to enter the box name, and then tap to enter box description. So let's say this is going to be uh, um, desk because it's going to be stuff that goes in the desk. And then description, uh, items, oh, that didn't work, items for desk. Of course, you may not need a description, but just want to show you that if you need it and you want it, it's there. And then you can hit location. And you can either, you can choose one of the uh, locations you've set up previously, or you could hit, uh, you could hit new and create a new location. Um, so let's say this is for kids room. So it's for the desk. It's going in the kids room, not the desk in the office. And you can put a description for the location if you want to, but I'm not going to. So we're going to create location. And then when you go back, now you see kids room is an option. So we'll say kids room. And uh, then we're going to create the box. So I hit create the box. And now it's asking me for the items. So you can enter the item and then under each item you can enter a description. So I'm going to say pens as one thing. So that has been added. Uh, new item. Uh, let's see. Uh, pencils. I'm just making stupid stuff up right now, of course. And spell that right, but whatever. And each time you see you can add a new item because I'm in the box that's marked desk. So I can add a new item. So I'm going to add a new item. And this time let's say scissors. Doubt you're going to be that specific with your boxes, but you could be. And you could enter a description of the scissors if you needed to. Um, and if I hit create and finish, then of course it goes back to the beginning. But if you hit create and new, then it just asks you for the next item. So by creating, by uh, uh, selecting create and new, then I can just create, go straight to the next thing. And I'll do ruler. And we'll do create and finish. So now I have this box marked desk. The location is kids room. And it's got a list of things. So we're going to go back. Um, here and I'm going to show you because I went straight to boxes you can go to items 
and you'll see a list of all the items you've entered so far and it'll tell you what box those items are in and you can search if you want to search for something specific to find out what box it's in and then you can go to locations and this just allows you to set up new locations so if you wanted to set up a new location you hit new and you create a location just like we did last time uh, let's see uh, bedroom bedroom 2 and then you could enter description if you want to create location and now you have another location so uh, what happens is you go to boxes and if you want to create a, uh, a tag for that, then uh, let's create one for the one we just did, desk. So you long press, and you get your option right there. Create a tag, edit the box info, or delete box. I'm going to say create a tag. And now it's going to tell me, touch the tag. So we're going to use uh, this tag right here. And this is an intag203. The tag memory is not too important with this, because done it's that fast uh, what doesn't happen is this isn't uh, recording all of this information onto the tag the information is saved inside your phone and all it does to this tag is just record a little code on there so that when you're using this app if you tap this tag it knows which box to associate that with so the good thing about that is you can use uh, pretty much any uh, any size memory of tag you don't have to have a lot of memory like you would if you were actually recording all this information onto a tag so uh, once let's say you've created these things and you've got 10 boxes sitting in front of you uh, at your new place and you want to find out what's in the box so you just uh, at the bottom here you see it says search NFC tag so we're just going to say search NFC tag and we're going to use this tag, which I already programmed, and we're going to tap that. I realized I did not program that tag yet, so let's program kitchen stuff to that tag. So we're going to long press kitchen stuff, and then create tag, and then we're going to tap that tag. This is a different kind of tag. This is a MyFair Classic tag. So now we've programmed that tag. So now, uh, of course we could have if we're moving we're gonna have dozens and dozens of these but basically you click search tag and then you touch a tag and it immediately comes up with which box that is and everything that you've entered as being in that box and then uh, if we wanted to search another box then I'm gonna switch out the tags here search tag again and we tap the tag on that box and we immediately have a list of everything that is in that box so it's as easy as that it's a very uh, very simple uh, app um, it's free it was created as a uh, uh, school project but uh, it works great um, and I've looked at pretty much every NFC app there is on the market and uh, none of them have uh, this good a functionality for this purpose um, just a good way and you could use this not just for moving but also if you have boxes you know stored in your garage and you want to know what's on them you just take one of these little stickers and stick it on there and program it to what's on there keep this app on your phone and uh, you're good to go and uh, if you want to do another one you just click new and you can create a new box and uh, start all over but uh, it's pretty simple and that's pretty much what it is and uh, what it does and how it works uh, it works uh, really well really great uh, great app so that was the app pack it up as you can see it's just a great uh, way to make uh, moving or even just storing stuff a little bit simpler because you can store all the information about what's in a particular box uh, on your phone and with the tap of a tag you have it all right in front of you no questions about what's in there and you can get really detailed which you usually can't do with a marker so uh, it's it's really a cool app and it's free on the Play Store so you should uh, head over to andytags.com to get some NFC tags head over to the uh, Google Play Store and pick up the app and you'll be good to go uh, anyway if you like this review please click the like button please share it with your friends your families your enemies on Facebook Google Plus Twitter whatever you know whatever flavor best suits you and uh, that's about it. Until next time, this is Eric reminding you that your Android phone is only going to be as good as you make it.